there! In this lesson, we will be going through adding connection types. Thinking Caps connection feature allows you to set up connections between users. These connections can be assigned automatically by an administrator or by the learners. Supervisors can be given various permissions relating to the users they supervise. Our objectives for today's lesson are to understand the connections function and be able to set up connections and manage supervisor permissions. Let's get started. To begin, log in to Thinking Cap with full admin privileges. Once logged in, expand the hamburger menu in the top left and expand security. Click on Connections. The first page lists connection types already on the branch. The information displayed includes the connection name, matching method, number of matches, unmatched users, and undermatched users, the number of pending matches, and whether the type is active. Create a new connection type by clicking on Add Connection Type. On the basic settings, first enter the relationship name, then the description. Next, you select the matching method and set a maximum number of matches per learner or supervised user. The methods are automated matching, matches supervisors to supervised users automatically based on group and matching criteria set for this connection type. Semi-automated matching managed by a matching admin is when an administrator confirms matches between supervisors and supervised users. Semi-automated matching managed by the learner means supervised users confirm matches to supervisors. Then you select which group of users should be supervisors and which group should be supervised users. After selecting the supervising group, you can select everyone not in the first group or a specific group as the supervised users. Remember, groups are set up under branch resources. If you're not choosing groups, you can match everyone to everyone. Click Next after everything is filled in. On the permissions page, choose what the supervisor should be able to do or see for their supervised users. These permissions include enrolling learners into activities, signing off on attestations, and more. Click Next at the bottom of the page. On the matching criteria page, you can choose to randomly match supervisors to their supervised users or match them based on metadata rules. The supervisor and their supervised users should have the same value selected for the matching metadata field. Click Add Metadata Field. To add matching using rules, select which field or fields should be used to match supervisors to their supervised users. Click Add Metadata Fields at the bottom of the modal. Click Next at the bottom of the page. Under Connection Request, you can limit the number of matches made to a single supervisor. You can choose to take other connection types into account when limiting how many supervised users a supervisor can have. Connection requests allows for matches to only be requests that must be accepted. You can set requests to expire after a number of days, proceed to next match when a request has expired or is declined, supervisor or supervised user can decline the connection. The last section on this page is removing connections. These options allow connections to be broken manually by the supervised user or automatically based on metadata changes. You can click Apply to create the connection type or Next to add notifications. You can enable notifications sent to supervisors and supervised users when connections are added and removed. When adding an added connection notification, you can select between notifying the mentees or the mentor candidates by clicking the checkbox and adding a subject and message. Likewise, when adding a removed connection notification, you can follow the same process. Click Apply at the bottom of the page. Back on the Connections page, the options next to each connection type allow the settings to be changed for an admin to process and manage the matches, reset the connection, and remove the type. You can only adjust the settings for a connection type when it is not active. That's how you create and manage connections. Thanks for watching. Thank you.